you having horse riding problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems riding my horse ain't one. I'm just kidding. How about it, y'all? You got Hog. I'm your Southern Diablo 4 resource. Thanks for stopping by. So, hey, just wanted to point out a couple of things that you need to know about riding a horse. I know a lot of people are having problems with it or say it's clunky, and it is a little clunky. It's a new addition to a Diablo game. They're going to have to go in and refine it down just a little bit, but just some basics of riding the horse uh, that you need to know. So, A, you do have a gallop. It's usually on your space bar. You got three charges of it. So, if you get too slap happy or if you hold down the space bar, you're going to spin those real quick, and then you're going to be playing catch up, trying to get on that cooldown of the uh, gallop, which I can't stand that there's a cooldown. If you look at like Red Dead Redemption 2 and how they did the horse mount, it was flawless. The horse had stamina, and after a while, you had to let the horse regain stamina, but you were still moving pretty quick. It wasn't like your move speed was cut in half, which is what we're seeing right now. Uh, there's also a cooldown, something to know about when you hit Z to get off your horse. Um, and you're in combat, there is a cooldown of 8 seconds or 10 seconds, something ridiculous like that. When you do your dismount, so your combat dismount, it's 25 second cooldown, so keep that in mind. Uh, especially if you're doing hell tides and trying to use the horse to get away, you got a little bit of a cooldown. That needs to be that needs to be gone. Th this entire game is revolving around cooldowns, and it, it drives me crazy. I can't stand the cooldown. Uh, but the main, the main way that you drive is the distance of the mouse pointer to the horse okay so the closer that you are see how slow i'm going here see how close the mouse pointer is as you drag that out the faster you go okay now another tip for you is if your uh ui bar is in the center you're gonna hit that thing and it's going to cause you to do things like this, where you run into terrain and stuff like that. You really have to mind where you're going. So you have to put your pointer. This is where I recommend keeping it about right here. And then you can actually make the horse move pretty easily. As long as you're guiding him around and paying attention to where that mouse pointer is and the distance from the horse from the horse to the pointer. So you can actually actually get him pretty well controlled. Now you do have a meter on your horse, a spook meter. That's this right here. If that fills up, he will kick you off the horse and you'll be forced to fight. So just keep that in mind. If you're coming through enemies, you want to try to sprint through there. And it's best just to keep your eye on the cooldown. You'll see the cooldown right here. And just keep your eye on that so you're not down to the zero. I highly recommend at least keeping one in the charge. But if you get a little little careless with it and get your pointer you know, way off screen, if you're using a widescreen or something like that, uh, you're not going to have a good time. you got to keep the pointer pretty close to the horse. You want to speed him up. But there's also no reason to... There is a, a limited... Uh, like a max speed range, if you get what I'm saying. I think it's about this far in front of the horse is going to be your max speed. So if you take it way over here, it's going to be the same speed as right here. So just keep that in mind. But it is a little clunky. You have to get over it, and it does have a little skill gap. Uh, once you kind of figure out, overcome the clunkiness of it, it's really not too hard to, to get it going. But hope this helps you out with the mount. I'm enjoying the mounts. I uh, found the ghost mount here a little bit ago. And, uh, I mean, I just think she looks so sick. Look at her here. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you actually like the horse or not. Give me a like and subscribe for more Diablo 4 content. If you need a Discord to run with, the House of Hog, we ain't mild, we're wild. They got all kind of resources over there. We got a community. We got a place for groups. I know it's hard to find groups. If you need a group, find one over there build guides and all kind of other stuff over there. So make sure to check it out. And of course, this video was brought to you by MMOXP.com. This was made possible by them. So thank you very much to our sponsor. Visit MMOXP.com for all your Diablo 4 needs and use code HOG for 5% off at checkout.